Okay, I uploaded um, my template that I created uh, to my test Joomla site here locally on my local WAMP server. There it is again. And um, just to see how things are going here, um, I've got extplorer or explorer here. There's my uh, test site to back end administration. Here's the front end. This is how the telemed um, template came in. So um, it actually came in pretty good. Um, I've got a lot of stuff that's um, working okay here, and um, and I'm not unhappy with it at all. Uh, one thing I'm going to need to do though is um, get this background to tile back here, get a um, some text here that's disappeared, and I just got to you know make sure that everything works right and clean it up so that it looks like the um, basically so that it looks like the original. Th what I want to make it look like is, just to go over it again with you guys, is, let's see here, Telemed, I'm looking HTML. All right, let's see here. I want to make it look like this, okay? So um, you can see here that this is what it, it's, it needs to look like, and after the Joomla, after I installed my template into Joomla, it looks like um, it looks like that. So I've got to um, I've got to do some some work on it to get it to look like this. Okay, but it shouldn't be a problem. You know, it'll it'll happen for us. So I'm gonna um, go through that process of fixing the template to make it look right, and I'll show you each step of the way what I do to get it to work. All right, I've posted all of the files that I use this uh, this template that I uploaded. I've posted it to dancecourses.com. If you look under the content management systems class page, um, and you should be able to download those sample files, which could help. All right, so now it's the chance to you know fix things and make it work better. Okay, one problem that I can see right off the bat is I've gone into the back end here and I've gone into extensions module manager and here's my module manager and you'll see here that um, I've got two user login modules so I disabled one and then if you look down here top menu right this top menu right is enabled but it's pointing to this position user 3 right well I don't have a user 3 position um, in my template I never made a user 3 position. This is a holdover from the previous uh, template. So what I can do is I can click on this top menu and let's see what happens when we do this. And I can change the position to nav main, which is one of the positions that I installed through my template, right? You can see these are my positions. Footer, left, nav main, right, title box, top, user 3, right? So these are my um, positions, right? So um, nav main, and then hit apply, right? And um, menu style list. Uh, well, let's see what happens. Let's just go check it out. So we go here and refresh, and there it is, home, right? So here's top menu. You can see it here, home. So it's going into this top. It's trying to go in this top area. It's just not. It's not fitting correctly, and that's all right. So I'll go back to here and show title, no, right? And pr press apply. All right, and then go back to the front here and refresh. And this title should disappear, and that brought it up a little, but you can see the whole thing needs to, to um, come up quite a bit. So um, we've got to work on that. Okay, so I think I've solved the next problem with my template, and I'm just going to give you a heads up on it, because you'll probably see similar problems maybe in your template, and um, this is a good one. Okay, I'm running Firefox here, and as a, per a previous lesson, I've installed some tools to help um, in the process. One tool I've installed is Aardvark, so I can start Aardvark, and then I can scroll over different um, sections of the web page, the different divs, essentially. So I can scroll over here, then I can right-click and say Inspect Element, and it opens up Firebug, and then I can look at, basically, I want to see what happened to the background that's supposed to be tiling 
um, repeating along the x-axis underneath here. Right, I'm looking in here and I'm looking and I see okay background, you know, and I and I've got um, there should be a background um, image here, right? Um, in my CSS for it, um, it looked like this background, and then it said pound sign f f f f f f space, and then this right, and that's the way it looked. Okay, file save, and I've been hacking this like saying oh my CSS might be wrong all this stuff, right? What's going on? Where's the background image? You know, the first thing I thought was, well, maybe my my path is wrong, right? This this path is wrong, but you know, I knew it was right before and I was told in Joomla tutorials that it it'll stay right once the template's installed. So, you know, I'm just wondering what's going on. And then of course the problem was not that my CSS wasn't good enough or all these problems, but I started thinking, well, maybe it's not finding this image right maybe it's not so I go into my WAMP server folder right where this test website is so there's my website right it's in the test 2 folder and then I go into templates and then in templates there's my template that I installed telemed template right so I go in there and I go into images right and I'm looking for header underscore bg dot gif and sure enough um, it's not in here okay so I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine images in my images folder right so that's interesting well of course it's not working right and then uh, let's look at this file template details dot xml open with um, active state Komodo and in Komodo edit how many images did I tell them that there are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine images here listed, right? Nine. Okay. Well, and how many did I say was in the folder? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's great. But how many in my original template? Well, if I go here to the desktop and I open up my original template, right? Um, and I go to images, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven images. Okay, so there's supposed to be eleven images, right? And I only listed nine in my XML file, and consequently I didn't get a failure, but only nine came in, right? Only nine were imported into Joomla, so I'm missing two images from my um, from my template. So now I have two choices. I can uninstall this template, you know, and that's what I think I'm going to do. Is I'll go here to test site 2, I'm going to turn off and I'm going to go to extensions, install uninstall, right? And I'll log in again and I'll uninstall the template and then reinstall it with the images in place. Now, you don't necessarily have to do that. You don't have to uninstall your template. I could just stick the images in there, but I kind of want to make the template work nicely. So that's why I'm going to do that. Uh, so install, uninstall. Let's see here. Install, uninstall. I'm going to uninstall my template. I'll go to templates, right? And I'll go to, okay, it's grayed out right now. Only those templates uh, that may be uninstalled are accessible. The default template may not be removed. So first of all, I've got to go to the template manager, make um, Rook Milky Way the default template again. Then I can go to install, uninstall, templates, and I can un uninstall my telemed template, okay? And um, for some reason it aired out. I'm not quite sure why. Let's see here. All right, looks like it uninstalled to me. Okay, could not delete the folder, so I could try again, templates, um, and it's gone here, so it looks like it uninstalled. Now, if, if it truly didn't wasn't able to uninstall the folder, I go to my WW directory, go to my site, right, and if I wanted to, I could just do this. If I was online, I could do it through ext plorer, 